In this video, we will discuss urinary tract endometriosis with a focus on identification of bladder endometriosis on ultrasound. Urinary tract endometriosis affects up to 12% of all women with endometriosis. However, this number rises to 20-53% to for women with deep infiltrating disease. The bladder is the most common site, but the ureters, the kidneys, and the urethra can also be involved. The urinary system is the second most common extra-pelvic site affected by endometriosis after the GI tract. For the evaluation of the bladder, the probe needs to be placed in the anterior vaginal fornix. Ideally, the bladder has a small amount of urine to be able to distinguish the different layers of the bladder. Here, we can clearly see the mucosa and the muscularis of the bladder wall. Endometriosis lesions invading the bladder will appear as hypoechoic nodular lesions. Here, we can appreciate a bladder nodule invading the full thickness of the bladder muscularis. We can also appreciate that this lesion has a cystic component. It is important to always measure nodules in three orthogonal planes as depicted here. This specific nodule is located at the bladder base and extends to the bladder dome. In fact, bladder deep endometriosis most commonly develops in the bladder base and dome rather than in the extra abdominal bladder. Here is another case where the nodule can be seen at the bladder dome. This is a cineclip of the same nodule. Measuring the distance between the lesion and ureteral orifices may assist in surgical planning. The presence of ureteral jets can be seen using color Doppler. To make a complete evaluation of the urinary tract from an endometriosis standpoint, one must look at the bladder, but also the kidneys, the ureters, and the urethra. Here we can see pictures taken of the right kidney. We are reassured by the absence of hydronephrosis. On this clip, we can see the right ureter vermiculating. The distal ureters can be examined by moving the probe from the midline towards the pelvic sidewalls. The ureters should be followed as proximally as possible to exclude dilatation and the presence of deep endometriosis nodules, which would appear as hypoechoic lesions around the course of the ureter. In conclusion, endometriosis of the urinary tract is most commonly seen in the bladder. The bladder dome and base are the most common locations for endometriosis. Endometriosis lesions will appear as hypoechoic nodules. Measuring the distance between the bladder lesion and ureteral orifices may assist in surgical planning. Thank you for listening. 